Hello and welcome to the second pilot episode of Tap Wizard 2. We learned a lot of things since last episode. Regarding the music, I talked to somebody and this copyright situation will be resolved relatively soon. So what is going to happen if I make an episode 3? I'll use a different song for each episode, the same style as what you hear right now. By the way, I'm using Fond right now, but I shouldn't. I waste money, but I will start doing it eventually. Time to get a perk. This is not an ability I'm using yet. Then that's a perk for an ability I'm using. So if you're unlucky, they only offer you perks on things you don't have. And by the way, that fire column thing was, I don't know how it's called, was a... Uh, Looking pretty good, and I'm gonna use that maybe next episode. So here is an example of something I should not do, fund. And there's flashing stuff at the bottom. We're gonna go through most of it. As I usually see, my goal is not really to teach anything, but I will share with you the things I discover about this game. And it's a new game, so maybe if you haven't played it too much, you'll understand some of the mechanics because uh, at the beginning I was a bit confused, but over time, like any game, because there was a few ambiguities, I would say, but anyways. Okay, the obelisk is extremely strong. What it does is, you're gonna burn all your uh, power, so the left thing at 1.56k is called power, and the right thing is souls, okay? You gotta burn power to get permanent upgrades of damage and research cost discount. What's going to happen after that, uh, the power on the left does increase your damage, right? Now, when you kill mobs, usually you get souls on the right. And then, once you're done with your run, your souls are turned into power. But because I just used enchant, I will, when I kill mobs or get chests like this one, I will directly receive power until uh, I'm back where I was before I did enchant. Now, in this video, I will enchant way too often. You can wait and get nicer bonuses. I like to enchant at around 16. It doubles my damage. And one thing I'm not sure about is if it's additive or notification. So please let me know in the comments. I didn't pay enough attention to be fully confident, but it could be multiplicative and I'm not I would bet it's been because let me know in a comment if I'm right or wrong. So we did a jump cut here and there's going to be something happening. First of all, I'm going to acquire this for more health. But there's something I want to show you and there's a chest right there. I'm dying anyway, so I'm going to sacrifice myself to get what's in this chest and we'll talk about that. I discovered really a lot of things in this episode. This is the in-game currency that you buy for real money. They give you uh, some. In fact, they're gonna give me enough to maybe buy something next episode. I already chose what I want to buy and I'm ready to awaken also. Do you know what awaken means? If you don't, you will by the end of this video. If you already don't, well, you know where I am as we speak because I continue playing after uh, this footage. I have vision 10% uh, extra uh, XP and 10% extra time shards, which you need to kindle. Kindle will be the second layer of precision. Okay, the lantern, it took me some time to understand this. What I mean sometimes is just a few minutes to sit down and reread it and test it. The lantern, uh, okay, it's for semi AFK people. Um, here is just best theory, new mob, fine. Oh, and this uh, should be activated at all time. Once per 60 minutes, I need to activate it. But if I buy the Dreamcatcher, uh, it's always active. So this is for active play, but uh, yeah, well, if I buy with the Dreamcatcher, I don't even have to ever click on it once per hour. So the Lantern. Let's say I do nothing. And last episode, you saw me ask, what happens if I sit there and do nothing? Now I have access to the Lantern. If I do nothing, I just let the game run. I die, I go in, it's called Limbo. The game sits there for a while and eventually a, a run will start. When this happens, 
the lantern will be activated. And then all the souls that I get, and I think money, will get into the lantern until I come back from being AFK. Once I click on the lantern or activate it, I receive most of my... In fact, I will do it right now. I'm going to click on the lantern. Look on the right. It's at zero. Now I'm getting all my souls back. Minus a certain fee. I forgot the percentage. So that's what the lantern does. It's more beneficial to just close the game if you're going to leave for a very long time. But if you play semi-active, that's what I do in reality. Lantern is absolutely great. And now we're back to normal once I die, which is probably soon, yeah. I'm going to get my 94 souls up to the power and get plus 5% damage. And rinse and repeat like this and you become stronger and stronger. And this is the market where you spend money, real money. This character is very important and it's free. He's going to find a totem for me once a day. I'll show you totems later. And these are the things I can buy for real money. As I told you, I already chose what I want. We'll talk about it in the next episode, episode 3. And uh, yes, I will activate this claim. And it gives me a piece of wood. We'll look at that. That's for the totem as I was talking about. Here I'm just showing the thing you can buy. And I'm really attracted in some of those. I can also buy some of those totems. Okay, the magic die, I didn't really understand what it was about. We'll talk about it next episode, don't worry about it. And these are other upgrades that I'm more or less attracted to. I'm only going to buy a few specific things. There are a few rings I'm interested in. Once again, I'll let you know in the next episode which ones and why. Because I do want to awaken. Okay, awakening is like prestige. All right, and these are just aesthetic. Who knows, maybe I'll buy one of them to flex. So we have mounts and what else? Uh, wizard trails. I don't think I'll buy flowers, but maybe skulls. Who knows? Okay, moving on. This is a jack totem. When you polish it, it gives you a totem. That's what the little guy that I showed you gives you. Okay, so when I activate a totem, it makes it possible to, through luck, spawn in the game. They each do something, so this one damages all enemies by 40% of their current HP. And there's others that give you some sort of a shield. Uh, I only have three, so I forgot what's the third one. We'll look at that in more detail next episode of what I caught. But once a day only. So I must not miss it. Okay, bag. Bag in a bag. I don't know if I'm going to look at it right now yet. So I can create a bag. It will appear in my bag. So within my bag, I have a bag for more storage space. Instead of having multiple bags or multiple tabs, I guess they went with it. It's interesting. And that's my first. Achievement ever. Achievements are of course important to increase the number of time shards I get so I can kindle and get out of here one day. Once again it seems to be a second layer of prestige. Eras, right? So I'm in era 1, I'm gonna get to era 2. Anyways, that's my understanding. If I say anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. That's my bag. Alright. What do we have? So I see a mirror, but we'll look at it a bit later. Okay, so besides killing mobs and opening chests and do all sorts of things, there are also special achievements. And I did one just right now, just before this footage. Found a research project with less than five seconds remaining. Very easy. So that's done. But there's others. I think we'll do more than one in this episode. We get a new perk that happens every time we level up our staff. 107% more damage. Did I read right though? 13% less cast speed. Anyways, I can enchant for 39, but if I wait at 50, I get a special achievement also. And uh, for some reason, I decided to enchant right now. Wow. 
Is it next episode that I do it? Okay, I don't remember. Let's do some research. So, damage. And then more health. There's still one I don't have access to. More souls from enemies and more XP. The one on the right tends to be expensive. It's a discount on enchantment cost. Here, activate the Eye of Vision. I'm gonna cut. And as you can see, there's a bunch of new stuff appearing. But what I'm interested in is new achievements. I do intend to try to get all 35 of them before I go to Era 2, although I don't know the mechanics of Era yet. Better awaken first. Now I'm going to activate rooms, but there's something I didn't understand. Is uh, these rooms are for next run. It's okay though, uh, I'm doing the right thing. The goal is to activate rooms 50 times, something like that. That's what I just did for the achievement. So all these rooms will be activated next run. So the mirror, I don't know when I'm gonna look at it. Is there anything else? I see that my staff is ready. You see it flashing level 8, so I'm gonna go to level 9. No, I am level 8. Yeah. All I had to do is get the perk. Okay. 16% extra damage. And now we're gonna unlock the rune utility bag. You want to understand it? You put runes in there and you can automate the way runes are activated. Oh, it's a good explanation. Here's a mirror after all this time. This is where you prestige when your staff reach level 10. That's the tree. You get four mirrors. And I want to do that next episode. If there is a next episode. There might be. There might be. So that looks really interesting. And there's two black stuff. It says era 2 and I don't know what happens in era 2. So maybe there's going to be multiple trees. That would be extremely fun, don't you think? So here I'm just showing that. And uh, these are the two totems that I have right now that can sometimes just appear by luck. And these are my stats if you're interested because the video is done. So please let me know in the comments if you like a series. I hope you do because this game is a lot of fun. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.